In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use Notion to organize, track, and elevate my reading. This video is packed with tips, tricks, and inspiration that will help you improve your reading habits and take your reading to the next level. Let's jump straight in. So here is my reading tracker. I do just want to mention that this exact reading tracker template is available on my store, so if you want to start tracking your reading straight away rather than spending hours and hours setting this up, then check the link in the description box below to download it. Okay, so without further ado, let's give you the tour. So my reading tracker is quite extensive. As you can see, I have this menu here that appears on every page and I have a ton of different pages here with various different things like a yearly report, a reading log, my reading goals page. But I'll start by showing you through the home page which is where I kind of have the main reading list and then I'll show you through all these different pages with lots of extra features that I find really useful. So up here firstly we have the current reading list so I'm on this tab currently reading at the moment and as you can see this just gives an overview of all the books that I'm currently reading and on these cards it will give a little bit of information about the book. So it says when I started reading the book, what page I'm on and it has a little progress bar to show how far I am in the book and then it'll just say here that I'm currently reading it. So this is a great little overview just showing the books that I'm currently reading. You can easily amend details on here so I can actually just click on this status here to change it so if I finish reading that book I can select finish from here and it will then disappear from this view. So as I said I track a ton of things about the book so if I just click on this one as an example as you can see I'm tracking the author, the type of book, the genre of the book, when I read the book, my start day I have this current page here so this is actually what I update as I'm reading so once I've finished a reading session I'll usually come on here and update the current page of the book and that will then update this progress bar here so if I just change this to 300 as you can see the progress bar has now increased as well and once I've finished reading the book obviously I will usually have completed all the pages so the progress bar goes to 100% I can simply just change the status here to finished and I can also fill in the completion date and my rating so let's just say I finished this book today Day, and I can also give it a rating out of five so let's say it was a four star book and if I just click back onto the main page as you can see that book has now disappeared from the currently reading tab and it's actually now moved to this below section here which is completed books so on the completed books section as you can see it just brings up all the books you finished reading and it will tell you when you read that book and it will also automatically work out how many days it took you to read that book and it will also display the rating that you gave the book as well which I really like another thing I have here is the favorites tab so if I just click on favorites as you can see this just brings up books that I've given a five star rating so those were my favorite books that's why I gave them a five star rating so it's just a nice little place you can come to just see all of the books that you've read that were your absolute best books it's a great place if someone's asking you for book recommendations I can simply come here check my favorites tab to see the books that I gave a five star recommendation if I just scroll back up to the current reading list I also have a couple of other tabs on here so we also have a wish list so this is for books that you've not started reading yet you can set them as wish list and they're usually just the books that you want to read next. So if I just click on here, it's just got a status here of wish list. So there's a ton of different statuses here, currently reading, not started, finished. So I just select wish list on the ones that I want to read next. And finally, I also have a not started tab. So this will just display all of the books in my reading tracker that I've not started reading yet. So usually what I'll do is every now and again, I'll come to the not started tab and I'll pick which ones I want to read next. I can then add them onto my wish list. So let's just say this book here is the one I want to read next. So I'm just gonna change the status from not started to wish list. So I'm going to disappear from here and it's now been added to my wish list. And when I'm ready to read a new book, I'll just come to my wish list tab and just pick from the books I really want to read soon on what I'm going to read next. So again, I can just click on the wish list and I can change it to currently reading and it will then move to the currently reading tab. So I can then click on here and fill in my start date and reading year. So I could say I'm reading it this year, 2023, and my start date might be today. And it will look like this. Another thing that I've added to this template is book review. So if I just click on one of these books as an example let's go with this one so if I just scroll down as you can see it comes up with this pre-added template where you can add a book review so I've created two different templates here one for a fiction book one for a non-fiction so let's just click on the non-fiction as an example and that will then input the book review so you can then fill in your key takeaway from the book your favorite chapter what the book was about what you found interesting and helpful and you can list out all of the key takeaways or the key things that you learned from the book another section I have here is the favorite quotes and takeaways so I've actually inputted this database where you can add quotes and takeaways and this will then feed into another page that I have in the tracker which is quotes and takeaways so I'm going to show you that later so it will just collate all of your favorite quotes or key things that you learned from books into one place so that you can easily review and look at them so this is where you can actually add them for this specific book let me just find an example of one that I filled out so that you can see how that looks so here is an example with atomic habits so I actually added a few quotes from the book that I found helpful in here and these will feed through to another page as I said which I'm going to show you in a minute. You can also 
also select them as favorites. So I have another section where you can see just your favorite quotes. So I've selected these two as favorites as I think they're really, really useful. If I just scroll down, I also have the master book database. So what I've just shown you so far are special gallery views of the reading tracker. But I did also just want to add in one master table like this, which just shows all of the books within the tracker and all of the information just in one place. It's an easy place to come just to update things that you need to update. And I have got filtered views depending on the status of the book. So we're currently on the master book database tab, which just shows all of the books within the tracker. So as you can see, you can input the author of the book, the type of book, the genre here. This is where you can update the status. You can add in when you started reading the book, the pages, your progress. And once you've finished the book, you can fill out the completion date and rating. To make it a little easier to find what you're looking for, I've also created these different tabs here. So we have a currently reading tab. So it'll just bring up the books that you're currently reading. So you can easily update them here. A completed tab for books that you've finished. So for these ones, you would fill out all of the completion date and rating. So again, it's just an easy place to be able to view all of the books you finished reading and for example, the ratings and things like that. I've also got a not started tab for any books you've not started reading and the wish list, which was for the ones you've added to your wish list. So it's a really handy place where you can just see everything about every book in the tracker. So another thing that I've added to the tracker that I really love is this little reading stats section here. So as you can see, I have a tab here that is the reading stats. So it shows how many books you've read this month, this year and in total. So I actually just set up a range of different formulas that would pull through the data from the main book database to figure out how many books you've finished reading. So that's really cool. I do think it's really fun just to see the numbers in here increase over time. And I've also got this reading log stats section as well. So I do have a reading log page, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. And you can essentially just input after every reading session, how much time you spent reading. And that will then calculate in total how much time you've spent reading either this month, this year or in total. So again, it's just really fun to watch the numbers increase. And it's a good way to ensure that you are spending time reading, which I really love. Okay, so that is the homepage. So that's kind of the main portion of the reading tracker. It essentially just allows you to track books, track your progress, and also see all the books that you've finished reading. But I do have a lot of other features in here that I really like. So I'm gonna work my way through this menu here. So the first thing here in the menu is this start here page. So I am actually gonna skip that for this tutorial as that's mainly just a setup page for people that have purchased or downloaded the template. So it just walks you through step-by-step step how to set it up for the first time. So if you do want to buy this template, as I said, I'll leave a link in the description box and you can use this page to work your way through setting the template up. So let's jump straight to this books by genre page. Okay, so if I just scroll down here, so as I said, all of the pages have the menu and the reading stats in the sidebar, which is really nice. So this is the books by genre page. So as you can see here, we have an overview of all of the genres within the template. So I have actually pre-added all of these genres. So if you were to download this exact template, it does come with all of these genres with the icons and everything. So you don't have to add this yourself. It automatically comes with that, which is really useful. So essentially these little cards will just bring up the name of the genre and it will tell you how many books you've read in that genre. So it's really fun to over time be able to build this up and see how many different genres you've read books in. So you can also click on these as well. So let's just use drama as an example. So it says I've read three books in this genre. So if I just click on there, so as you can see, it says here that I've read three books and it actually brings up all of the books that you've read. So this is the completed books tab. So these are the books that I've read in this genre and it will bring up the details here, like the rating and how long it took me to read the book. And there is also an all books tab as well. So this page would normally bring up also the books that you've either not started reading yet or you're currently reading that are in this genre as well. So in this case, I've only inputted three books in total that are under the drama category, which is why there's only three. So this is just a fun page to track just the genres of books you've read. It's also really easy to add more genres. So I have added quite an extensive list of genres here, but if there is something missing, then you can add it to the genre list. So on this tab, it just brings up a list here of all the genres. So you can just click on this plus new button at the bottom to add another one if you like. And then that would automatically be added to this genre overview page. Next, let's have a look at the yearly report. So on this page, it essentially just gives you an overview of each year and how many books you've read. So let's have a look at my 2023 stats. So it said I've read seven books this year. It will calculate the total number of pages that you've read and it will also calculate how many hours you've spent reading. So it's a nice place to be able to come just to compare each year. So as you can see, I've got some 2022 stats, 2023 stats, and obviously these ones are still blank as their future years, but it's great to be able to build this up over time and see your progress and how much you've read and compare each year. You can also click on these blocks as well. So if I just click on 2023 as an example, it does bring up some more information about the books that you read this year. So this will just bring up a list of all of the books that you read in 2023. And it'll just bring up a little bit of information about each one, like how many days it took you to read that book and the rating as well. There is also a checkbox on here for your favorite book of the year. So at the end of the year, you can just come onto this little page and decide which book was your absolute favorite and check the checkbox like 
like this and if I just scroll down to the bottom it will have a favorite book of the year section and it will just bring up that book that you chose as your absolute favorite so it's just a fun little activity that you can do at the end of every year so I've pre-added up to 2028 but if you do get to 2029 and you need to add another one you can just go on this year list tab here and just add another year here it's pretty simple you can just type it in and it will automatically add this icon which will then add it onto this page here next let's take a look at the reading log so the reading log is a place where you can log all of your reading sessions throughout the year and as I showed you earlier this will then feed into this reading log stats area in the sidebar so it will calculate how many hours you've spent reading this month this year and in total so this here is the actual reading log so we're currently on the this month tab which will just show an overview of all the sessions that you've done this month there's also a this year tab which shows all of the reading sessions for the current year and I've also added this all time tab if you just want to see all of the reading sessions that you've ever done so I'm just going to add one as an example to show you how that feeds into the reading log stats so if we have a look at the reading log stats it's currently on 3.91 hours for reading this month so let's just add one in so I'm going to click on this plus new tab and that's going to add in a new reading entry so I can select the year so in this case we're going to select 2023 and I can also select the date here I'm just going to leave it as today's date and here I can actually add in the hours and minutes that I spent reading so let's just say that I spent an hour reading so I'll just put one into the hour column and I'm just going to leave the minutes column blank as it was exactly an hour and now if I just scroll down to the reading log stats as you can see that's now updated so this did say 3.91 hours and now it's updated to 4.91 hours so that also updates all of these numbers as well so it does take a little bit more effort having to input all of the reading sessions in here but I personally think it's a great way to track your reading progress throughout the year and I really love just seeing the reading log stats build up over time I do also have a habit tracker on this page so as you can see you can add in reading habits here I've pre-added a read every day habit that you can use so essentially you can just tick this off each day that you read and the progress bar here will increase accordingly so if you manage to tick off all days so if you read every single day it will go to 100% and then at the end of the week you can just highlight all of the boxes and hit delete and it will restart the progress bar for you again so again this habit tracker is just another way to keep you motivated and to help you read every single day the next page is the reading goals page so this page is where you can set and track your goals for reading so I've set up this little box here that will bring up an overview of the goals so this is all pre-made I spent quite a while putting this together so it's now really really easy to update and amend your goals so firstly you'll set a yearly reading goal so the goal that I've set is 60 books so I want to read 60 books this year and this little tracker here will show me how far along I am in that goal so it says I've read seven books out of 60 books this year and there's a progress bar here as well to show me the progress and similarly I've got the same thing for a monthly goal so my goal this month is to read four books I've currently read two so I'm 50% of the way towards the goal and it's really really easy to update and amend these goals so if I just scroll down here we have this edit goals section so all you need to do simply is just in this column here where it says goal books this year I can just write how many books I want to read this year and that will then update this reading goals card for me so let's just change this from 60 to 15 books this year and once I've done that as you can see this yearly goal on the card has now updated so it's now changed my progress bar and it says that I've read seven out of 15 books this year so I'm much further along in that goal you can also update this monthly goal here by updating this goal books this month so instead of four let's say it was two and as you can see it now says that I've read two out of two books this month and my progress bar is at a hundred percent so this is just another fun thing that I've created to help you keep track of your reading progress and to set goals and really track quite easily how far you are along in achieving them and the final page I want to show you today is this quotes and takeaways page so this page is just a place where you can note down all of your favorite quotes and the key things that you've learned from certain books so it works for both fiction and non-fiction books so as you can see here you'll simply just input the quote or the takeaway or whatever you want to note down from a book into here you can then select the actual book that it's from here so this is actually a relation property so it does bring up all of the different books within your tracker so you can easily just select whichever one it's from and I've also got this favorite checkbox here so I did want a way to be able to pick out your absolute favorite quotes or takeaways rather than just having a really really long list so this one is the quote list tab which will show all of the quotes and takeaways and you can then favorite the ones that you love and those will then appear on this favorite quotes tab so this will just show your absolute favorite quotes or takeaways so I use this page a lot just to note down things that I've learned so for example this is the atomic habits book that I really enjoyed and there's a lot of things that I learned from that book so it's nice to be able to just make a note of what you learned and keep track of it here and as I showed you earlier if you actually click on the book page let's just go to the page for atomic habits and if I just scroll down to the bottom you can actually find this quote list on the individual book page so this will filter the quotes just by that book so these are the quotes from atomic habits so it's a nice place to be able to just see quotes from 
from Atomic Habits and not have it all mixed together with all the other books. And I can easily just add more quotes directly from this page and that will automatically categorize it as an Atomic Habits quote. So let me just put a random quote here. So I've just added this random quote thing here. So if I just go back now onto the main page and onto the quote list, as you can see that random quote has just appeared here and it's automatically tagged as Atomic Habits, which is really cool. And that is my reading tracker. So as I mentioned earlier, this exact template is available on my store. So if you're interested at all, then I'll leave a link in the description. It also comes with an in-depth YouTube tutorial showing you exactly how to use it and set it up. So here is the blank reading tracker. So this is how it will look if you downloaded it from my store. So I have put one book in here just as an example. So you can see how to fill in the different columns but you can just delete this once you've had a look and you're ready to start there's also a start here page which is essentially just a setup page so it just walks you through setting up the template for the first time so the template does come with absolutely everything that you've seen today it comes with all the reading stats set up for you all of the pages that i've been through today and both of the pre-made book review templates as well and if you did find this video useful then i'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as i do upload new notion tutorials and videos like this one twice a week